Hello guys, Survival Tech here. Today we're going to be trying to answer the question, are APRS trackers obsolete? APRS trackers have come a long way over the years. However, one thing that remains constant is the endless amount of wires and RS-232 connectors that are involved with connecting all of the equipment together. Certainly, there are situations or experiments where you would want to use a wired tracker. For example, in a UAV, an amateur rocket, a weather balloon, a weather station, or some static object. But when we start talking about man-portable APRS, there seems to be very few examples other than the Yezu and Kenwood-enabled APRS radios. The Kenwood and Yezu APRS-enabled HTs are absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, they are cost-prohibitive for many amateur radio operators. This was one of the reasons the APRS trackers were developed in the first place. The APRS trackers gave users a low-cost, entry-level way of interacting with the APRS net. Many of those trackers ultimately evolved into full-fledged TNCs. And this was a good thing if you happened to be a car, a weather balloon, a rocket, UAV, or something like that. Once again, the problem becomes more apparent when you start to consider man-portable operation. The large connectors, the endless wires, the external GPS. We're in the 21st century, and still we are coupled with RS-232 connectors. Come on, guys. So unless you have some sort of weird cable fetish, man-portable APRS has been a nightmare. At least it's been a nightmare up until now. Thanks to the developer of APRS Droid, we are able to alleviate many of these cabling problems that we've experienced with trackers up until now. The APRS system you see in the video has three components the radio, a smartphone, and the Bluetooth TNC. As you can see, there's only one cable between the TNC and the radio. GPS data acquisition is done directly on the smartphone. This was all made possible because of some very clever forward-thinking software and hardware developers. So let's get back to the question. Are APRS trackers obsolete? Well, the answer? Of course not. However, regarding man-portable APRS, we now have possibilities to have basically a radio in a pocket or a backpack and a smartphone in your hand or your pocket. No cables, no wires, no power, no external GPS. Just clean good fun.